Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, friends. See you again on the Lucky Fian channel. I hope all of you are always in the protection of Allah. And always be blessed with sustenance. Amen ya rabbal alamin. In the previous video, we discussed how to replace a leaky 2006 Honda Jazz IDSI upper radiator tank. So in this video we will continue to bleed the radiator because the coolant was drained because we changed the upper tank. As you can see, the radiator is already installed, we just need to bleed. Let's watch the video until it's finished. Okay bro, for the drained bleeding coolant, you need a coolant of 2.5 liters to 3 liters or even more. We just pour the coolant slowly until it's full. After the radiator is full like this. Don't close the radiator right away bro. Then my friend turn on the machine without any load at all. The AC is turned off and the cabin lights are also turned off. To start the bleeding coolant after the engine is started. The coolant will overflow because there is a reaction that will release the air that is still trapped in the radiator. Keep an eye on the coolant level, if the coolant decreases, you can add more. I see you worried, don't gotta ask why 
Well here you can see that there are still bubbles coming out. Means that there is still air trapped in the radiator. You need to know, the temperature on the engine in the bleeding process can reach 93 to 95 degrees. If the fan is on, it means it has reached that temperature. Well here the fan is on and the coolant level will go down by itself, and let all the trapped air out all while still paying attention to the coolant level.
while we see if there is a leak in the newly replaced upper tank. Well if the radiator is not releasing air anymore, buddy, you can finish the bleeding coolant process, and turn off the engine then close the radio as before. Thank you for watching this video, hopefully it will be useful. Wassalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.